Do you want to know how to automate a renewal pipeline inside of HubSpot? Well, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you how to set that up in today's HubSpot hack. So first thing I should mention is that you will need access to workflows to automate this renewal pipeline and to have access to workflows. You will need either a professional or an enterprise hub inside of HubSpot. So just want to let you know that before we get started. So next thing you want to do is log into HubSpot and we can see we have my new sales pipeline here with my deal stages. And then we also have my renewal pipeline here. So you can see the couple different steps. So we like to separate out our new sales pipeline and our renewal pipelines, especially because our renewals are going to be automated. And as you can see, we have some different stages here for our renewal pipeline and our new sales pipeline. So what we want to set up today is moving this deal from the contract sent stage into close one to automate a renewal deal to be created. I'm going to show you how we want to do that. But first thing that we want to set up is some mandatory properties that when you move this deal to close one, you have to answer in order to actually say that this deal was won. And those properties are going to be, as we get a pop up here, the close date, which should automatically set to today's date. And then also whether or not this is an auto renew, which is going to be a key factor for our renewal pipeline. In order to do that, we click this gear icon up here towards the top right and then go to pipelines and then go to the stage that you want to set these mandatory properties for hover over it and click edit properties and then add them over here on the right hand side. And then if you want them to be required or optional, you can select this box over here on the right. So let's close this out and we'll go to automations and then workflows to set up our renewal pipeline. So we'll go to create workflows and we'll go from scratch. And on the left-hand side, you'll select what kind of uh, base or object base we want to use for this workflow. This is going to be a deal-based workflow. And we'll start from blank to set up our own triggers. So we'll click Next. And then we will set up our enrollment triggers. So we're going to filter when a criteria is met because we're going to use a couple different factors here. So our deal properties are going to be our enrollment criteria. And we're going to look for deal stage. And we're going to search for our new sales pipeline and say whenever anything is closed one in our new sales pipeline. We also want to add an additional filter here too and say when the deal property auto renew is also yes, those are going to be the uh, other triggers here for our pipeline. So we'll click save. And now we're set up to add more steps to this workflow. So we'll click the plus sign here. And what we want to do is create a record. So we want to create a contact company or deal. Obviously this is going to be one where we want to create a deal. And then there's a couple different steps that you can see here for who we want to assign it to, what we want for the deal name. So we want to assign this deal to the existing deal owner. So the person who managed this deal the first time will also be managing that auto renewal and be getting credit for it. For deal name, when we click into this area, I recommend just copying the name from the original deal that we're enrolling in this workflow into the renewal deal here. So we'll just search for name and add deal name here. And that will pop up here as the new deal name. You can also add other things like renewal, um, add in the year or something like that. Like maybe this is the 2025 renewal. You can do that. I'm going to keep mine plain because we want this to be running year after year. So we don't want to do anything that's going to you know, add renewal and then renewal again, et cetera. So the deal pipeline and stage. So we want to search for our renewal pipeline. So pending renewals, and then we'll go into our pending renewal stage. And for our close date, we're going to set this for 365 days after today. This deal closed today. The renewal will happen 365 days from now. So depending on your business and, and your product, it might be one month, might be quarterly renewals, might be more than one year. So there's different ways that you can do this. So I'm just demonstrating it for, for one year. We're also for the amount, we're going to copy the amount over. And let's add some more properties here. We also want to set another property for auto renew. We want that to stay as yes. Here we are, set that for yes. If we scroll down a little more, we can actually set the associations. So by default, and we can't change, the deal being enrolled in this workflow will associate with the new one. So at this time, same object association is fairly new. It's an awesome feature. This way you can see the deals being linked together. We also likely do want to associate the contact and company associated with this deal. So I highly recommend keeping those checked off. 
So we're going to click Save. And then we are going to give this workflow a name. And we will call this our Create Auto Renewal Deals when a deal is won. We're also going to add a description here using AI. So we'll click Generate. Highly recommend always adding descriptions so you and anyone else who might be managing your HubSpot know exactly what all of your workflows are doing without having to click through and look at them step by step because workflows can get pretty long and complicated. Adding this description is a huge time saver. So we'll click Save. We'll review and publish. And we don't have any deals that meet this criteria now, so we're just gonna click no, and we're gonna turn this workflow on. So now let's go back to workflows, and excuse me, let's go back to our deals. And now that our workflows are set up, we have our, autom uh, our mandatory properties when we move it to closed one, let's demonstrate how this works. So let's move this deal into closed one. And the auto renew is yes, and click save. And now we're gonna let this workflow run. So let's hop over to our renewal pipeline. All right, so I refreshed my renewal pipeline here and my renewal deal is created here in the pending renewal stage. So there's gonna be a couple more things here that we're gonna to wanna to set up for some next steps. And that's gonna be some more workflows. So we're gonna go into automations and workflows. And we are actually going to come in here and add a step to this original workflow here. So if the deal stage is any of closed one in our new sales pipeline, or it's any of closed one in our renewal pipeline, we actually want to add an enrollment trigger to this original deal we won, because if the person renews year after year, we want that to also create renewal deals here. So we're going to add is any of, and we're going to search for our renewal pipeline. and click renewal one and click save. And now if that renewal deal also has another renewal next year, it will create another deal for that next renewal. What we also wanna do is set up a workflow. So we'll go back and click to create workflow from scratch that will automatically move this deal into closed one if auto renew is on and that uh, close date comes up in that renewal pipeline. So our triggers are going to be when a filter criteria is met, we're gonna search for deal properties. And the first thing I'm gonna want is deal stage. So if the deal stage is in our pending renewal stage and the deal property is, we want our close date is, we're gonna say less than zero days from now, which should run on when this day actually happens. And then also we wanna say also auto renew is still on. So what this means is at any point in that 365 days, if your customer lets you know they don't wanna renew or they wanna shut off auto renew, then you can go into that deal, set auto renew to no, and it will not automatically move into the closed one stage here. So we have our enrollment triggers. We then want to set our next action for update CRM records. We want to set a property value and we're gonna to wanna to move the deal stage into our renewal one stage and click save. Next thing you're gonna to need to do is just give this a name. Highly recommend generating a description as I said before and click save. And of course, turn this workflow on. So that's how you set up a very simple automated renewal process inside of HubSpot. Uh, obviously yours might be a little bit more complicated, so feel free to reach out to us at SimpleStrat if you need some help with that. Remember to subscribe to HubSpot Hacks for all the latest and greatest tips, tricks, and tutorials. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, happy HubSpotting.